black with red interior. And this is car number 165, right hand drive. Hello and welcome. Today is another car day and uh, we're already on the, on the way to the uh, world most famous classic car exhibition and it's called the Techno Classics. It's about one and a half hour drive from where we are and the weather is perfect for staying inside and um, it is said to be the biggest and most famous classic car show in the world. We're going on a safari and a jungle of classic cars. We're trying to find all the E-types. Stay tuned and join me when we go to the entrance. See you later. So, so here we are now. We arrived at the, uh, the, the classic car Mecca in Hessen. It's the classic car show. It's called the Techno Classics in Essen. And you see here the, um, the publicity and it starts today. Today is the 12th and the 12th is only preview day and we have taken this day just uh, to make sure not too many people are there. And uh, the main days are 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th. So it's a four days event for the public. And this is meant to be the largest classic car exhibition worldwide. They claim to have 2,700 classic cars exposed they have more than 1,200 stalls, of which are about 200 clubs. So you can imagine what we're going to expect here. And it's the 33rd edition in the, um, near, near the center of Germany. And we're going inside on, um, on a safari to find all the Jaguars in this jungle. So please join me. Come to the, this is the south entrance. And we start here with the Mercedes hall. It's the entire hall is Mercedes cars. And uh, just go around and have a look. This is interesting car, the Sterling Moss SLR. So this is what you're going to inspect here is all high chrome, shiny, glossy cars. This is a Series 2. Uh, it's a Roadster, seems to be having a new paint, a refresh. Seems to be still in use. It doesn't have a price. And can't tell you very much about it, but it's, uh, it looks like restored. It's a wrong steering wheel, it's bright new seats. There's the, uh, the soft top seems to be a new one. Certainly there's no price and can't tell you more. So you need to come here to find out. Sorry about that. Okay. Here's another Series 1. It says it has been restored to the, to the highest degree possible. But uh, I wonder what they are talking about because the front bar is missing. Uh, no price is indicated. I like, I like the color. The wheels are, I don't know kind of racing style but it is yeah you see it is a new interior it's a new new paint there is a it doesn't say a price I can ask Is uh, probably a driver. It's, it says highest standard, but uh, I see water in the headlights. The horn push is a red pro, and I'm wondering what he's. Uh, the fitting of the bumpers is a nightmare. You see, he is totally close. It's just a few details which helps you negotiating. You can see here the same 
there is no rubber space in between so this is terrible fitting and you see here this is another thing here is too tight and here you push the fingers through and that is just high standard so just to let you know so there's water drops inside the lights I don't know if they are these are modern lights but uh, it is called high standard the horn pushes are April I don't know whose car that is price on request complete history price on request so this is uh, let me see here this is uh, aftermarket it doesn't have the uh, the two lock on it so beware when you go and buy a car no idea where they are from here's a series uh, two and uh, we need to go around and check the price uh, we, I will try to find out more and um, you know, we already see the door fitting it's not it's not perfect but uh, maybe it's a good deal but otherwise it seems to be a fully restored car a series this is series 2 1970 the asking price is 139,000 so you would expect a better door fitting really but this is probably starting price and um, yeah I'm not getting any closer here and here's another one this has a racing look it is called wide body roadster signature and asking price is 220,000 inspired by the lightweight I'm not sure if you got that approved by the German MOT you have no bumpers the bag is wider is larger so not sure as they measure everything it might be approved I'm not sure but you can see in here it is all uh, modern stuff it is um, the modern um, aluminum dash and a different steering wheel but that obviously is a customized car the rear looks different a bit larger the exhaust is a bit different it's a customized car so so I might have a client forgot his e-type is standing alone it is uh, it looks like a 4.2 but it claims to be a 3.8 the exhaust tells me is a is a 4.2 oh isn't it so this is strange so this is a 4.2 engine but it is made in 62 something doesn't quite fit second motor 3.6 what does that mean Simon Morris asking 128,000 so might be might be for someone who doesn't mind not sure what that really is about 128,000 so it is uh, can't tell you how much about it you need to come and check but it's another E-Type then and here I've spotted an interesting car looks to be unrestored uh, let's have a look this uh, yeah that looks like a bee, bit prepared it obviously it is unrestored but it looks uh, really it's a wonder what that is so it's an early car but the the dash top has been replaced and uh, that has been on purpose or just because uh, they, they liked it a bit thicker it's a lot of filler on it 
and has been probably poor restoration. So this this one needs a full restoration. There is a marking on the glass. Entschuldigung, den zu verkaufen? Yeah, whatever you want. So how much is that? This is a uh, Series 1 E Type 1962 uh, Woodwood Eligible. 30,000 kilometers original. Mm -hmm. Have been in the barn in Arizona for the last 40 years. It's, it's now running in running condition. Mm -hmm. so we put it in running condition. Came here by itself for the truck. Yeah. And we are asking 120. 120, 120, okay. So this is a 62? 62. What month's about? I don't know, but we can tell by the tags on the... On the oh yeah, maybe, yeah. Come on. Fill mal uh, die plakette vorne und die Nummer. It still has the original tags on the pumps. Ah, see? yeah, yeah, okay. On the day of birth, yeah. so... Kommst du hier rüber? Kommst du hier rüber? Here, these are here. So here you see these are. This is a, probably replaced because it has a plastic strap. Yeah. Below is the original one. Yeah. And here is the number on the clutch, and that says. Can you zoom? zoom? The metal strap under. Yeah, it still has the tag, the original. Yeah. So what does it say? Yeah, so must the phone am ram the number am nehmen. Where's the phone rechts? 100? You said 100? 20. 20. Phone of the egg is the number. Geh mal dichter ran mit der Kamera. So it's pretty much... Um, it's no rest free. Completely solid body. One solid body, never, yeah. Never hit anything. Because with, if you come here and see. So he said it's accident free and. Uh, no, how you know that these guys were these cars were beaten in the front? They have long bonnets. Yeah. Let's see, look, you pass the hand here, and it's completely thin. You see, yeah. never have been no no bond or no. Anything. Yeah. He says he says never had any accident. And have a look. When you fall a rain films. And this would us uh very very you can always restore it of course but yeah. I would keep it like it. Yeah. You can all you you, you find course. lots of them like that, shiny. Yeah yeah yeah. Guck mal nimm mal die Zing die Nummer hier vorne. Hier, die Nummer hier. Ja, das Nimmst du die denn die Nummer hier? Ja. Uh, that's your original paint on the inside, original it's still already... Uh, original repulsion paint. Yeah. But on the outside, obviously, you see, you can tell from underneath, there has been filler underneath. So I doubt if it's that still the original paint. So these are located... No, that's not, that's not, that's not you. you. So these are located in the, uh, in the Netherlands. So can you see that? In case you're interested, you find your way and you make your deal. 120,000 to start with? Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Come, one of the most famous uh, classic car museum in the Netherlands, near Den Haag. If you ever come to Europe, you need to stop by. I didn't know they're offering cars, but this one is a 67 for 215,000 asking price. This one seems totally restored. It looks like brand new. It's a 67 car. Has a lot of reproduction features in here. It looks stunning. Uh, it's just not, it is just not all original. You tell me what isn't correct. So I lost track how many E-types did we see already. But there are a few. And the prices commanding. 
between 130 and 250, 260,000 for Series 1 cars. So this is the Maroon, it is sitting very low. So this one is a late, it's a late 3.8. Asking price is 147,500, restored and mechanically rebuilt, it says, starting color combination, matching numbers. So let's see, what is this here? Where is this? Ah, it's just put in here, okay. Needs to fit that. Let me see, how do we get in? So again, this is a non-original non steering wheel with non-original horn push. The gear stick looks strange to me, but that is uh, always to your liking, of course. It is fully restored. Yeah, it's not. It's a shiny car. It's just, so this one was 147,500. Then we have another E-Type over here. So here's another one. This seems to be also a, a late um, 3.8, customized. As you can see from the inside, steering wheel is different, everything is different. It is... Um, yeah, what you spot here, this this is the reproduction stuff, that what you spot first thing. The uh, It has the big bore exhaust, it's a bit of modified. If you want a sporty car with the old uh, design, then that might be something for you. Could tell you more. Uh, let's see the price. So this is, again, same similar car than the other one, but this one is asking 199000 I like these, not sure what these are for, that's why you have them all, all the way around. And here's some in inventions. This is uh... yeah, I don't know what that is, but this uh... the number is 890586, it's a non original uh, plate. You have the washes, which shouldn't be there, but that is uh, as you like it. And the car number is uh, 890586. Yeah, has probably been taken apart and reassembled with new stuff. The ride is all shiny. And there was another one. Uh, there's another one, which is... Uh, which is um, could be a series one and a half. You have the open headlights already. I like them because you have much more visibility on the road. So this is what you had later. Still asking 140,000. And uh, so you expect the, the two carburetors in here. Yeah, and it's interiors like the series 2. Probably it has the, uh, depending on where it has been delivered to, it has either th three or the two cobs. The so wider wheels, looks a bit more sporty, a bit more aggressive. Fully, fully rebuilt, new, new windscreen, new windows. I don't mind these uh, one and a halves. Actually, I like, I like, I like the uh, the headlights, the open headlights. This one is a bit finer. The series two had wider ones, like the series three. But this is a kind of a nice compromise. 
is a serious one and it is a, it is a, it is a roadster and it is offered by AN Mark Classics uh, the price as you can see here it is it says it is a serious one 3.8 and asking price is 259000 euro including the hardtop i'm not commenting on the car as uh, that will be too 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 much for everything but it's um, yeah, it's a restored car you see the home push don't need to say more about it and um, so it says with warranty but uh, yeah 260 that's uh, here's a series 3 from the states you can tell from the big uh, we don't have that in Europe usually so this is uh, looks like an unrestored with some patina and this is uh, the typical probably got a, a refresh of paint as you can see here it's all um, splitting up the paint but therefore the price is interesting it's a v12 series 3 90 70, 73 asking price is uh, 69,000 euro which is um, which looks like a really like a survivor can't tell maybe has been restored some 20 30 years ago and um, this is how it looks looks pretty much original another e tab let's have a look and in the end we will carry how many so this is a uh, series 1 3.8 wide looks restored and here's a sign it's a 61 and we saw it. it's an obl car so this is an obl So this is car number 247 of the OBLs. Doesn't say the price, but uh, it obviously is on request. And the dealer is CC Cars. Don't know where they are. Hello. Hello. Ich, uh, you speak English or English, 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 English. Yes. Yeah. So uh, this is for sale. It says price on on application. Yeah. Uh, uh, Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. That's what I would 299. expect. Yeah. Two ninety nine, and that has been restored where? Completely restored in Denmark. In Denmark. Yeah. Oh, are you from Denmark? We're from Denmark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. So this OBL actually is restored in the Denmark and is one of the uh, early OBL cars, number two hundred forty seven. It is. Um, it has early features, as you have the step here. You have uh, the white, the white chrome on here. Looks pretty nice. Asking price is two hundred ninety-nine thousand. So this is the um, the OBL, and you can tell right from the distance if the louvers are original or not. So here's here's another E-type, a white one. This is registered, German number plate. Asking price is hundred fifty eight thousand five hundred and uh, the company is Camps so this is a 67 uh, 4.2 car this is a uh, thing is in British white fully fully restored it's a right hand drive actually and the VIN is 7 E14 let me see what VIN that is the heritage says uh, 7E14355 
October 67. Steht noch einer? There, hmm? There's another OBL Roadster in black. This is popular in the uh, US. OBL. Black with red interior. And this is car number 165. Right hand drive. You, the price, what is the price? 348,000. And then obviously it should be perfect for 350,000. Okay, the, uh, the color is one thing, the originality is another. A few things I see already which do not fit. And if you're interested, you need to negotiate with the guy. I think it, I think. Uh, this is above market price. You tell me what is good and what isn't. So actually there are few, there are few E-types around here. Can you tell these are not the originals? And you can see that. Well, it looks all nice and shiny. D cross in class, classic cars. And here's something we really like. This is an original E type, and this is a series one. It is either a left hand or right hand drive but definitely for your kit has a German number but I can tell here it is a, no, it's a series 3 actually you can see here the white the white wings of the series 3 but it's a must-have 